everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. This is episode 7 of our stitch gallery and glossary. Today we are learning the crocodile stitch. A lot of you are really obsessed with the baby mermaid tail that I have designed a while back and I used the crocodile stitch in there so I want to show you how to make this in a flat design. I have other items too like hoodies and different things that you can use the crocodile stitch in. It is such a fun project. It is very 3D, scaly looking, uh, very like a like a mermaid. It's really, really nice. So we're learning the crocodile stitch. You'll need some basic supplies like a crochet hook and some yarn. This crochet hook is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. I will put the link in the description of this video where you can get this hook. It is super nice, super, uh, you know, easy to use, hand carved. I can crochet for hours on end with this. Seriously, it is so wonderful. You can hold your hook like this, like me. I hold it like this or like this. And you can also hold it for some of you who hold your hook like a pen, you can hold it this way as well. Very, very comfortable. Also, thanks to Red Heart Yarn for providing the yarn for this project today, for this tutorial. I'm just going to do a swatch in this video, but I'm using Creme de la Creme yarn. It is 100% cotton, and it is, or yes, combed cotton. It's softer than um, the other, I've seen peaches and cream yarn, um, different cotton yarns, and this is a little bit softer. It's really nice, good for garments and things like that. So, now, I'll just get right into the tutorial for this project. Uh, you are going to need to have a foundation chain that is in a multiple of 10, and then you're going to add one more chain at the end of it that. So I chained 21 for this swatch today, but you can chain as many as you need to. Just do a multiple of 10 and then add another chain at the end of your chain here, of your foundation. So I chained 21 for this uh, project today. So we're going to work if you need to, you know, you, if you need to know how to do a, a slip knot and a chain, you can watch episodes one through five of our Stitch Gallery and Glossary, and you will learn how to do those. So to start off, we are going to work two double crochets in the sixth chain from the hook. So let's count here. The loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain, so count one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right in this chain here, I like to turn my chain toward me just like this and work in those back ridges. So we're going to yarn over with our hook here in this yarn, go into that sixth chain, right into there, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through the other two loops on your hook. Okay, that's a double crochet. We'll be using double crochets in this project. And then we're going to do another double crochet in that same chain. So yarn over, go back into that same chain, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, now in the beginning here, this looks like a stitch. We, we actually are going to count this as a chain one space here, then three of these chains here, one, two, and three, are counted as a double crochet, and then this chain one right here is counted as the chain one space. So it looks like chain one double crochet, and there's that space at the bottom too. So it's a double crochet stitch, and then we have these two here. So now we are going to, let's see here, space, two double crochets, okay. Then we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through, one, and then skip two chains and double crochet in the next. So yarn over, skip one and two, and go into this next one here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. But we're not putting any more double crochets in there, just that one, okay? Then we are going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through. We're going to skip two chains, one and two, and put two double crochets in this next one. One and two in that same one. OK, 
Okay. If you I'm going too fast on making these double crochets, you can watch episode three of this stitch gallery and glossary. I'll teach you how to do a double crochet. So now we are going to repeat this across. So let's chain one, skip two chains, two chains, and double crochet in the next. Then chain one, skip these next two chains, and put two double crochets in the next. Okay. Now, just like in the beginning of this row, you should have two chains left. In the beginning here, I showed you we were just skipping the one right up here. So it looks like we just skipped one chain and then the chain of three is our stitch and then there's that chain one there. So we're going to chain one to finish this row. We're going to skip one chain and we are going to double crochet in the last chain of our foundation here. So go into the very last chain. And if you do have three chains left, you know, if you maybe have counted wrong or something, you can just always just go into the last chain. Nobody's actually going to see this row because the crocodile stitches for the next row are going to be worked over these and you won't even see your foundation. So there it is. There's row one. All right. So let's go on to the next row. We are going to chain one, then turn your work around. Okay, we are going to skip this first double crochet stitch right here. This is our first stitch of this row. We're not, we're not going to work anything in here, okay? We are going to actually jump to these two stitches here and we are going to make our first crocodile stitch. So we're going to do five front post double crochets on this first one here. So yarn over, go onto the side of this double crochet just like this into this chain one space around it onto this side just like that. That's a front post stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull it through. Then yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, there's the start of our crocodile stitch. Now what I did was I pinched my work and I turned it like this. You can work it like that or you can work it like the front post stitches, but I just find it easier to kind of pinch it, kind of pull it up and then work around this now. So yarn over, go around it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's our second one. Yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's three, here's four, and five. Right here. Okay, so there's five double crochets down that post here. And as you can see, I'll remove my hook and you can see that they are around that double crochet stitch from row one. So that's what that looks like. Awesome. Now we are going to, let's see here, bottom of here makes first half. Then we're going to just work. You can chain one if you want to, um, but you do not have to chain anything. We're just going to go directly to this side and work our way up. So instead of working from this way, we're going to turn it around and pick up this double crochet and work up it this way. Okay, so I'm going to grab my yarn here. We're going to yarn over, go around this from the bottom, from the base of this double crochet stitch here. Okay, just like this. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So there's one. We're doing five double crochets. Here's two. Here's three. Here's 
here's four. And five. Okay, so then you can flip this back to the front and see how it looks. Oh my goodness, it looks so fabulous. Look at that! We just made a crocodile stitch! <laughs> That's awesome! Alright, then we are going to, let's see here, we're going to go into the next double crochet with a slip stitch. So let's go into this double crochet back here. It's just a solo double crochet. Next, we're just going to go into the top of it. Okay, into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Okay, that is considered a slip stitch, just like that. Okay, so there we have a crocodile stitch. Awesome. Then we're going to slip stitch in there, it secures it down, and we are going to repeat. So let's put five double crochets around this double crochet stitch right here, so front post double crochet, so yarn over, go into this chain one space around this next double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through, whoopsie, yarn over, pull through, there we go, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. I kind of squeezed this, kind of folded it, and I'm going to work around this double crochet. Once you get the hang of these double crochet stitches and these crocodile stitches, you'll be able to work much faster. The first two rows are a little tricky, uh, but once you perfect this, you'll go much faster and make all kinds of projects with the crocodile stitch. Um, when I first started crocheting, I wanted to try this out right away, and I fell in love with it. I worked a lot of projects with this. And you'll see on my website I have shared a few projects with this stitch. So there are my five double crochets on this side. So now I'm going to hop to the very next double crochet right here and work five double crochets going up that one. Like I said though, if you get to this halfway point and want to chain one, you can chain one to make the point a little bit more pronounced, but I am not going to in this swatch. We're just going to hop right over to this next double crochet stitch right here and work our double crochets going up it. So now we're going up the post. Okay, because for the first one we're going down the post and then we've got to work our way back up to the top of the row so we can slip stitch into the next stitch. And I'll show you how to do that too. If I'm going a little fast, like I said, for these double crochets in this video, just watch episode 3 of this series. You'll see how to make a double crochet. So there's 5 double crochets up there and there is our second crocodile stitch. They're looking so fabulous so far. Okay, so to tack this one down, we're going to go into this double crochet stitch right here at the top, yarn over and pull through, and pull through for a slip stitch. Okay, just like that. Awesome. So let's just make one more on this row, and then we can go on to the next row. So let's yarn over and make our last crocodile stitch. Just put five double crochets down this post. One, two, three, four, and five. And then hop to the next one. We're going to uh, just kind of turn it around and go to the very next double crochet right here. And then five double crochets go up this post. So one, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. And now we have just this one stitch left. Let's skip one chain here and go into this next chain right here. 
for a slip stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, I'm just going to pull this up a little bit, show you row one. There's, or I'm sorry, that's row two actually. <laughs> it looks like row one because we're hiding, if you turn this around, we're hiding row one behind us there. So this is the back of your work, and this is the front of your work. And there are your scales. So you should notice that they are nice and point you can point them out at the bottom and kind of squeeze them together kind of shaping them into the scales and that looks really good all right now we're gonna go on to row three so what we need to do is chain up three one two and three and that is going to count as a double crochet stitch let's turn our work around and in that same spot where that chain up three is we're going to put a double crochet so yarn over go back down into that spot there it's going to be a little difficult since it is a chain stitch but if you just go right into there okay then yarn over and pull that through Oops, I didn't yarn over. Weird. Yarn over first, then go in, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. So now it looks like there are two double crochet stitches in that front there, in the first stitch. Okay? Then what we're going to do is chain one. So yarn over, pull through, one, and we are going to double crochet, just put one double crochet into the, uh, this spot right here between the scale. So yarn over in the center of the scale here, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, and then we're going to chain one, skip over to this stitch right here okay you can see this double crochet stitch there's a slip stitch in there we're gonna work two double crochets in that slip stitch that's worked into this double crochet so go into that slip stitch right there then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two okay again yarn over go back into that slip stitch between the scales now, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, just like that. So we're looking at the back of our work. Now we're going to chain one, and we're going to just put one double crochet into this eye of our scale here. So yarn over, go into the eye there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Then chain one go to this next single double crochet all by itself here you can see the slip stitch that's worked into it put two double crochets in there one and two okay then chain one and we're just repeating this across so double crochet into the eye of the next crocodile stitch all right, so now for row three, we want to finish over here. We're going to go and put two double crochets in the very last stitch. So yarn over right into this last stitch right here. You can go in here or this chain stitch right there, but it's quite difficult to get it in there. So I'm just going to get right into first yarn over and go into this stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and another one going right in there okay so that was row three so this is the back of our work you should have in your groupings you should have four groupings of two double crochets then so that's how that works so now we're going to go on to let's see that was one two three row four we're going to let's see here chain up one two and three <laughs> just want to make sure here chain up three one two and three that's counted as our double crochet of our first scale here we're going to turn this around okay and we are going to 
put then four double crochets along this edge here. Okay, so we are going to yarn over, go around this first double crochet stitch right here. Okay, just four, since we chained up three already, we're going to just put four double crochets around. You can see I just turned this around basically. So I'm kind of going down the edge of this stitch here. Okay, so yarn over, go in there around that first double crochet stitch and put four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. So now it looks like there's five stitches because this chain of three counts as one of them. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to come over to this next double crochet stitch right here and work up it just like we worked row two. So it's basically repeating row two's um, like sequence, but we're starting with a scale way over here now. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and there's our first scale of this row. Okay, so you can see that they are going to be staggered then. Let me get my hook out of the way here. And so you can see that they are going to be staggered like that. So let's get on to the next step. We're going to slip stitch into this double crochet right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Then we're going to continue with our crocodile stitches. We're going to put five front post double crochets around this next double crochet stitch. Okay, if you want to rewind to row two, you can see how I am doing this. Five double crochets around this post. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Then we're gonna flip this over to this next one right here, next to it, and work five double crochets up this post, working from the opposite side. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, then slip stitch into the next. And then just do that for the rest of this row. I will meet you up when I'm finishing my last scale and we'll go on to the next row. All right, I'm just finishing my last crocodile stitch and then we can go on to row five here. There we go. So this is what it should look like. So row four should have four of the, or more, one, um, you know, one more than the previous rows there, okay? So this one has three, so this one should have one more. So now we'll go back to three, so that we'll do three, four, three, four on this swatch, and on your piece you can make it so it's, you know, like um, if you have, you know, five or six, then the next one will have, you know, so if you have five on your first set here, then you'll have six on your next then five, then six, then five, then six. So we'll just repeat this now. Um, but to get to the row five, how to do that, how to go back to three here, we are going to chain one. Okay, this is row five. We're gonna slip stitch into this eye of this um, crocodile stitch right here. Okay, so we're gonna go into that center there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, but don't pull too tight. We don't want it to like look weird or anything. Just pull it just enough, just like that. And then we're going to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. That counts as a double crochet and a chain one space, okay? So the first three chains are our double crochet and this next is our chain one space. And now we're going to put two double crochets into this spot right here in between our crocodile stitches you can see here there is our slip stitch right there and we are going to work two double crochets in there or you can work it right into this double crochet uh, from the row three there so yarn over 
I'm going to go into the slip stitch actually from row four. So right in here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, go back in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. Okay, just like that. And then we're just going to do that across. So chain one. And in the eye of this next crocodile stitch, just put one double crochet. Okay, then chain one and just put two double crochets in this next slip stitch. Make sure to put two double crochets in there. Okay, we're just setting up the base for our next row on this side. Whenever you're looking at the back of your work like this, you're going to be setting up the base of the next row. So now chain one and put one double crochet into the crocodile stitch. Just like that. Then chain one and put two double crochets into the slip stitch from the previous row. Okay, then chain one and we're going to end in the eye of this crocodile stitch down here. We're just going to put one double crochet in there. Okay, just like that. Now chain one and turn your work around. And now all you have to do is rewind this and repeat rows two, three, four, and five for however long you want to make this piece. So just remember in row two, we started way over here and this double crochet stitch and we are going to make our scale right here. So if you need to, just rewind this and repeat rows 2, 3, 4, and 5 for however long you want to make this. And there it is, the crocodile stitch. It's so much fun. Once you perfect it, you can work it really fast. At first, when you're, you know, practicing it, it takes a little time to figure it out and how to do the front post stitches and everything and where to put your scales. But there it is, how pretty and staggered and lovely it is. So thank you so much for watching. Check out yarnutopia.com for more, uh, you know, of these um, stitch gallery and glossary videos more free video guides on how to do easy to complex stitches. And while you're there, check out my other patterns. And on the right hand sidebar of my website, there is a donate button. Please donate to Yarn Utopia so we can continue to bring you these clear quality crochet video tutorials. Big thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmat, for taking the time to make this video with us. He is standing over my shoulder back there, just filming away, zooming in and out so you can see your these clear stitches and um, make sure you subscribe to our channel that is one of the biggest compliments that we can get is if you subscribe so thank you to those who have subscribed to us big thank you to red heart yarns for providing this yarn for this project it's so luscious you guys should get your own it is in the description of this video where you can buy it and also this fabulous hook is in there too so make sure you get all that thanks to you for watching happy hooking everyone